The Applications of Inorganic Compounds in Water and Wastewater Treatment Access to clean water is a fundamental human right, yet millions of people around the world lack access to safe drinking water. Wastewater treatment is also a critical issue, as improper disposal of wastewater can lead to pollution of water sources and harm to ecosystems. Inorganic compounds are widely used in water and wastewater treatment, playing a vital role in ensuring that water is safe for consumption and that wastewater is properly treated before discharge. In this article, we will discuss the applications of inorganic compounds in water and wastewater treatment, including filtration, neutralization, coagulation, and oxidation reduction. Filtration is one of the most common methods used in water treatment. Inorganic compounds such as sand, gravel, and activated carbon are used to remove impurities from water. Sand and gravel are used to remove larger particles, while activated carbon is effective at removing smaller particles and organic contaminants. Filtration is a highly effective method of removing impurities from water and is used in both large-scale water treatment plants and smaller point-of-use systems. Neutralization is another key method used in water and wastewater treatment. Inorganic compounds such as lime and soda ash are used to neutralize acidic or basic water. Acidic water can cause corrosion of pipes and can be harmful to aquatic life, while basic water can cause scaling and reduce the effectiveness of disinfectants. Neutralization is an essential step in ensuring that water is safe for consumption and that wastewater is properly treated before discharge. Coagulation is the process of adding inorganic compounds to water to destabilize suspended particles, allowing them to clump together and settle out. Inorganic compounds such as aluminum sulfate and ferric chloride are commonly used as coagulants. Coagulation is often followed by sedimentation, where the clumped particles settle to the bottom of a tank and are removed as sludge. Coagulation is an essential step in water treatment, as it removes impurities that cannot be removed by filtration alone. Oxidation reduction is a process in which inorganic compounds are used to convert contaminants in water into less harmful forms. One common method of oxidation reduction is the use of chlorine, which reacts with organic contaminants to produce less harmful compounds. Another method is the use of ozone, which is a powerful oxidant that can break down organic contaminants and kill bacteria and viruses. Oxidation reduction is an essential step in wastewater treatment, as it is often necessary to remove contaminants that cannot be removed by filtration or coagulation alone. Inorganic compounds play a vital role in ensuring that water is safe for consumption and that wastewater is properly treated before discharge. Filtration, neutralization, coagulation, and oxidation reduction are all essential methods used in water and wastewater treatment, and inorganic compounds are used in each of these methods. The use of inorganic compounds in water and wastewater treatment is an area of ongoing research, as scientists seek to develop new and more effective methods of ensuring the safety and quality of our water sources. In conclusion, the applications of inorganic compounds in water and wastewater treatment are diverse and essential to ensuring that water is safe for consumption and that wastewater is properly treated before discharge. Filtration, neutralization, coagulation, and oxidation reduction are all critical methods used in water and wastewater treatment, and inorganic compounds are used in each of these methods. The use of inorganic compounds in water and wastewater treatment is an area of ongoing research, and scientists are continually seeking to develop new and more effective methods of 
ensuring the safety and quality of our water sources. Access to clean water is a fundamental human right, and it is essential that we continue to prioritize.